Hello everyone, Daniel Pereira again, author of Saving Money Through Power Shopping. Um, I hope you guys are excited about saving money on groceries. I know I am. What I like the most, uh, free groceries of course. Um, so check out our website. Anyway, this is part two of, uh, this is the second reason why um, coupon clipping, if you follow the norm, it's going to be a huge shopping mistake and you might actually end up losing money overall rather than saving money. And a quick recap, the number one mistake people make while using coupons is what everybody does almost. They go and it's on Sunday, they get their coupons, they flip through it, maybe spend out 20 minutes, they cut all their coupons, they put them in a pile, then within the next um, you know, one to 10 days they're going to go grocery shopping, they find their... Um, sale uh, or they find the item that they wanted to buy rather and then they go and they purchase that item because they have a dollar off maybe five dollars or whatever um, so reason number well after that um, people they'll actually throw away the coupons that they didn't use so um, reason number two why this is the biggest mistake is based off of the fact of people throwing away those coupons and that's a big no-no um, the reason why is because many times, maybe after usually around a month or two after that coupon comes out that you threw away, um, a store in your area is more than likely going to have a doorbuster sale. Uh, within that doorbuster sale, they're going to have some great item, uh, great items and great prices. They're going to do what they call loss leaders, which means they might actually take a loss on certain items when you get into the store. Um, that maybe that bottle of shampoo that they're selling is a dollar twenty-five to them at wholesale, and maybe they're going to sell it to you for a dollar. So they're going to take a twenty-five cent loss. Why do stores do this? They do it so that they can get you in the door and hope that you pay, um, you know, good retail prices for the rest of the items and do the rest of your grocery shopping while you're at that store. This works for stores all the time. Once they get you in the door, you're usually, if you're a normal stop shopper, going to spend the rest of your money at that store buying the products you need for that week. So, uh, heads up for that. But um, the number two reason that we're talking about is the fact that, you know, a month or two ago you threw out that coupon that now there's a doorbuster for. So, what you need to do is each week, instead, keep your coupons. Keep those coupons. And when you get into the store and you realize um, that there's a doorbuster, or you found out in the paper that there's a doorbuster, or your weekly circular comes out, you find out there's a doorbuster sale, you're going to know, hey, there's a coupon for that too. And that's when you're going to match up those sales and get your free groceries. Um, I do it all the time, um, toiletries, uh, I got sausages, about 30 packages of sausages just the other week. Um, I had a dollar off coupon, the doorbuster sale was 87 cents each, that's negative 13 cents. Um, what I basically did is I took those uh, coupons and I took the sausages um, I threw in a couple of extra items in when I went shopping and I got all, all that sausage and a couple of extra items for free because of that 13 cents difference on each coupon. So don't make the mistake of throwing out those coupons. They're very valuable. They're going to bring you lots of savings. And there's actually a third reason why following the couponing norm is a huge mistake and I'm going to talk about that in our next video. So until next time guys, thanks.